guys, welcome to Drinks Tube. I am May and I've been working with cocktails now for the last 10 years and today I'm going to be showing you a lovely sophisticated drink called the Rob Roy. It's so old, it was created in the late 1800s at the Waldorf's Hotel in New York. It was actually named after a Broadway production that was shown at the time. So, shall we get the show started? First things first, you want to grab your elegant glass that will go with your elegant drink. And I'm just going to chill it up with a bit of ice. I'm just going to leave that to one side. Next thing, we're going to need something to stir your drink in. I have a lovely cocktail shaker there, but if you don't have one of these at home, feel free to use pint glass, a jar, anything you've got, it'll work. As long as you can stir in it, that's fine. Next up, we have the star of the show. So, a Rob Roy is actually a sweet Manhattan, but instead of American whiskey, we are going to be using scotch. I have chosen to use Dewar's White Label. So I'm going to use 50 mils. Lovely honey vanilla notes. It's lovely, it's light. Next up, we need the sweet vermouth. So I'm using Martini Rosso. So Martini Rosso, it's a fortified wine. It's lovely, it's got kind of a huge fruitfulness to it and it's got a lovely sweetness to it as well, but without the kind of heaviness. So I'm gonna use 25 mils of this. The last ingredient is aromatic bitters. Compact with so much flavors, herbal notes, aromas. You don't need a lot of it at all, so I'm just gonna use a couple of dashes. It just brings complexity to the drink, just kind of rounds everything up. So, the next thing we want to chill it down and dilute. Give it a good stir. You want to give it great dilution. You don't want it to be too watery though. You really want to chill it down when the glass starts to kind of frost or a bit of condensation. That should be enough. So guys, I'm just going to discard the ice and then we are going to drain the cocktail straight into the glass. And my first garnish is the zest of a lemon. So use a peeler. Now the lemon releases lovely, amazing oils that just kind of brightens up the drink and it just kind of balances everything up. And last but not least, a lovely fresh cherry. There you go guys, there's your Rob Roy. Can't wait to taste it. Absolutely amazing, you've got your honey notes, the woodiness, works really well with the sweet vermouth, still lovely and dry. Give it a go at home if you want to see another whiskey drink being made. Click on this link and you can watch Rich make a lovely whiskey old fashioned. Cheers guys!